In this session, we'll be discussing about how reproduction takes place in cyanobacteria. So cyanobacteria are one among the monera members and the reproduction strategies will be similar what we have discussed in bacteria. The very basic thing which I've told you is fission. So cyanobacteria are also unicellular. So being unicellular, they will have to what? They will have to increase in the cell mass and each of this will be dividing into two cyanobacteria. This is what the binary fission we have already talked about. When you talk about fragmentation, I've already told you about you have filamentous cyanobacteria. So filamentous cyanobacteria will be breaking down into fragments and each of these fragments will be synthesizing a new cyanobacteria. The third method comes is heterosis and I've told you that heterosis are the forms which lacks PS2 activity. Now these heterosis forms can separate from that particular filament of cyanobacteria and can give rise to a new cyanobacteria after getting, after retaining that particular PS2 activity they will become normal vegetative cell. What happens in homogonia? Let's suppose you have cyanobacteria filament. This is, let's suppose, the cyanobacteria filament. It is something like the filament like this. And uh, this particular filament of cyanobacteria is also called trichome, I should tell you. So this trichome is there in the filament of cyanobacteria. What happens? Let's suppose there is some toxic substance came. And this toxic substance will be keep on passing cell to cell and will be keep on killing the cells. The cells killed so far are called nacridia. So this portion it's called nacridia. And the portion which is still safe it's called homogonia. So this is nacridia and this is homogonia. Now the toxic can also come down to a fresh homogonia. So what happens just to prevent it, the homogonia separates from here. When the homogonia will be separating from here, these killed cells will be like that only but you can save out these particular cells and this cell will again be forming new cyanobacteria and arranging them into the filaments form. So this is how they reproduce. In next session we will be talking about economic importance of cyanobacteria.